The number one thing when you're running a small business and a small creative business is that you really, really need to love what you're doing. It's really hard work. Sometimes you're working 24 seven and it's much easier to do something that you like doing rather than something you don't like doing. So having passion gives you energy, it gives you drive and motivation, all of the ingredients that you need to run a really successful creative business. When you're setting up a business, I reckon the first thing you need to think about is what it's gonna be called. Really important to have an original name that's interesting and um, it's gonna, people are gonna remember. I remember one friend telling me how he went to set up a, um, his business bank account but he hadn't actually thought of the name so he had to think of one on the spot so be prepared and think through what's going to be a really exciting compelling name that also when you google is the first thing to come up naturally when you're setting up a creative business um, i think it's really important to well have done your research is anybody else doing this is there anything similar out there because i think originality is so important with um having a creative offer on the table. You want to be doing something that is genuinely original and genuinely creative um, that you can be proud of. Um, when there's other, there's always gonna be competition for what you're doing, but it doesn't wanna be direct competition. I also, also think that um, it's not a bad thing. If there's other people doing similar things, it means that there, there's a demand in the market for that kind of thing. But you want to make sure that the specifics of what you're doing is, is fresh, exciting and original. I think customers are very interested in sort of provenance and, you know, building up your story. Where are you from? Why is this? Why is your product or your service important? Why is it relevant? Um, give customers reasons to want to buy into what you're doing. Um, and then building your customer base up, you know, I think we live in a world now where you can be a global business, but at the same time, I think local is really, really important. And I think using your local um, area can be a really great way to build up your reputation. And there's nothing stronger than word of mouth. Um, the social, like social media is stronger in a way, but actually if you can work locally with word of mouth and really build up your customer base, that's really helpful. One of the areas that people quite often struggle with within a creative business is pricing their product correctly or their service. Um, when you're selling things you've made, it's quite easy to forget that it took you maybe 10 hours to make it um, and you're just delighted that someone wants to buy it. But you need to make sure that you price in the time accordingly because if you were to get an order, say, for 10 of those things, you need to make sure that you can maybe pay someone to, to help you make them or you know it's you've got to you've got to um, count your time properly and charge that into into the price so when you're thinking about what to charge for your for what you're doing you need to look at all the costs across the board what it's costing you for the space that you're doing it in what you're spending on any marketing or advertising etc but your time is, is really really key to include in the price so one um, really important thing when you're running a creative business is to collaborate. And I don't just mean um, in a sort of brand to brand way. I mean, just be part of a network, be part of a creative network, because you never know who you're going to meet and who you might be able to work with or who you might be able to do something with. Um, Tati Divine's always collaborated um, and it's always really helped us because it sort of joins up um, groups of people. So for example, when we started, we um, met the band Chicks on Speed and we made some merch for them. And they went on tour around America and Japan. And they basically introduced us, Tati Divine, to all of their fans in America. And obviously they were all incredibly cool girls that were into Chicks on Speed back then. So it just introduced what we were doing to the right people. So you never know who you're gonna meet basically always be open to working with people and sharing your ideas. So when you're running a small business, um, especially if you're doing it alone, sometimes you can get a little bit lonely or have uncertainty around what you're doing, but it's really, really important to bring in your friends and family to help you, even if it's just to have a conversation. Sometimes the minute you say out loud something that's been puzzling you, you find the solution. So just make sure you talk to as many people as possible and, and share your ideas and your concerns.